Bhagavad Gita, text 4.10 Free from attachment, fear and anger, with mind absorbed in thinking of me and taking refuge in me, many persons in the past were purified by the fire of knowledge and attained me. Here, tapasa, austerity, also means knowledge. From austerity, knowledge develops. One deals with the pain of voluntary austerity through philosophy. It is also an austerity to try to understand the inconceivable nature of Krishna's appearance. Those who have done so have attained the knowledge by which Krishna is attained. Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur also gives a novel interpretation of the words Jnana Tapasa, the suffering that a devotee undergoes on hearing misleading information regarding Krishna's appearance and activities, which burns his heart like the venom of a snake. By remaining faithful to the conception Krishna presents here, the devotee becomes purified and attains Krishna. In keeping with this interpretation, Vishwana Chakravarti also takes Vitaraga Vaya Kroda to mean that the devotee does not show affection, fear or anger to people who express such erroneous understandings of God's nature and pastimes. This is possible because he takes shelter of Krishna and constantly engages in glorifying him. Cultivating the proper understanding of Krishna in a powerful spiritual practice, in spite of all that he has taught thus far concerning karma yoga, Krishna says here that simply hearing about him, his appearance and activities, lila, is sufficient to bring about one's liberation and more love of God. Vishwana Chakravarti understands Mad Bhavam Agataha attains my state of being in this verse to mean that purified persons have attained love for me. Here Krishna says that many persons in the past have experienced this. This is the path taken by his devotees. Knowledge of the nature of Krishna's transcendental Leela is much higher than mere knowledge of the difference between the self and matter. As confirmed in this verse, those who understand Krishna's birth and activities in truth are free from attachment, fear and anger. Their minds are absorbed in thinking of him. They take refuge in Krishna and are purified by the fire of knowledge. All of this is involved in attaining him and it constitutes the foundation of understanding Krishna. Madhusudan Saraswati says that after attaining the status of Jivan Mukta, persons can develop an affectionate attitude towards Krishna called Rati, love. However, although he says this, he teaches that this Rati through which the Jivan Mukta relishes Krishna's Leela does not extend into Videha Mukti, final release. This is in sharp contrast to Vaishnavism, where the Jivan Mukta experiences Rati for Krishna and continues to do so in Krishna Leela after final release. As the devotional path surfaces in Krishna's mind, he reflects on his different types of devotees in whose hearts spiritual emotion for him arises, dictating their particular loving approach. He thinks of his servants, friends, elders and lovers who participate in the drama of divine love, as those in whose hearts deep spiritual emotion, bhava, rati, for Krishna has awakened, take refuge completely in him, 
they enter his lila accordingly. Reflecting on the following verse, primarily on these devotees, Krishna also reflects secondarily on all beings and their relationship with him, even in the state of bondage. He does so as Arjuna mentally questions. Your devotees know your birth and activities to be eternally true, but others, such as the Gyanis, think of them in a different way. So what happens to them? In response to this, Krishna speaks the following verse. <laughs> 